friend at Hibs. Who's my best friend at Hibs? I think I would need to say it was Louis Stevenson. A lot of people that meet him will say he's the nicest guy in football, and he and he truly is. He's an absolute gent. I sort of knew him before. I played with him. He used to come to XL now and again, but he's the nicest guy you'd ever meet in football. Such a down-to-earth person. Such a humble guy as well for the amount of appearances he's made. I think he's made over 480 appearances for Hibs at present and the only guy to win two uh, cups as well. So he's an absolute gent. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go with him. Right. If you could play football in any other country, which would it be and why? I'd like to say somewhere that's got more sun than Scotland, so that would probably be a lot of countries. I'd like to. I think Spain would be be quite a, a nice place to play, uh, and maybe maybe my partner might say Italy as well because there's a lot of nice shops there, and she could probably spend all my money on designer bags and and, uh, and shoes. So. Like what team? Yeah, in and, that country? Oh, and what what team? Well, Barcelona, of course. They need a need a, a centre half like myself that's good in there, good with the ball at his feet, just a an all round top defender, I think. <laughs> Who is I more like wild to your man. porches? What's that, pal? Who is more wild to your porches? Oh me well, it has to be me, of course. I'm Felif. I think I think he's actually Fidel Keith. So unless they've got something maybe maybe he's Y Y D L or Y D. Wild, I don't know, I'm not sure, but he's definitely not the way. In fact, I tell a lie, I think he's staying in Leaf at present, so he might be passing himself off as as a, as a new new member of the YLT, but he's uh, he's, he's free, he's free Dal Keith, so he'd never be part of the YLT. Right. Can you tell us a funny story about one of your teammates? Funny story about one of my teammates. I remember I never actually seen it, but I seen it on a on a WhatsApp video after the after the Scottish Cup final. I think it'd probably be wouldn't be a surprise to many, but uh, Jason Cummins woke up on a skip, so uh, I'm not sure how he quite got there, but pretty sure he had a, a good night's sleep after that game. So, what is your favourite head strip of all time? So, you guys probably won't remember, but um, it's a, a purple and green strip with colour on the front of it, and the reason it's my favourite, the reason it's my favourite strip is because there was a little shop on Junction Street in Leaf called Thompson's. It was a sports shop. It was before JD Sports and, and all these big sport direct brands and stuff. So it was just a little independent. And I remember going by one day and I had it in the sale. It was £9.99. Uh, so it must have been the season after it was launched. It was discounted. So I asked my mum if I could get it. And that was one of my first ever strips. So it's just stuck in my mind. Is it like last season's strip, but thicker, with thicker lines? Yeah, aye, big chunky green. Your dad will remember that green and purple when it's got colour. The, the gas chip used to be, be. I'm not even sure what season it must have been. I'd 95. like to see if I was maybe. Is it 95? Nah, I'm sure it's 95. Aye. It must have, aye, you're maybe right because it must have, I must have been about 9 or 10. So aye, you're, you're, you're right. You know, my age there. 85, I was born. So. If you could be one other player for him, who would it be and why? Who would it be and why? Uh, maybe like to be Ryan Portis, to be honest. He's 15 years younger than me, so could rewind the time uh, and have have a go at it again. Yeah, he's he's doing really well at the minute. Really good defender, got a a level head, and he's playing with Scotland as well. So what more could you ask for? Do you think um, you could beat me in a plank off? Or oh, a plank off? Well, I'm not sure we could we could give it a go of you if you like. Um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can re reposition. You're confident in yourself. What, what's how long can you go for? Um, what's your record? The highest I've ever done is three minutes, but um. Right, go on then. You want to get a go? See, what we have in thirty seconds. Let's go and move on. I've got to take it easy on you just because you're you're a youngster. Oh, I hope somebody doesn't walk into my, my, my bedroom and be wondering what I'm up to. Right. You see you see when you want to start it, Mom. Right. Three, two, one, go. It's too much to right at the moment. 
tell you what's hard, can you lift one of your feet, feet as well? That really impressed me. You could lift one of your feet up. Oh, there you go. What about one of your hands? No. Oh, there, you're super strong. What about two hands? I <laughs> know. <laughs> right, you proved that. You're very strong. Right? You probably beat me. You won. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's me done my workout for the day, thanks. Cheers, that and boy. Good one, boy. Well done, boy. Good job, bud. It's probably my biggest achievement. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can tell everybody that. You beat, you beat McGregor in a plank off. Uh, who's the best striker you've played against? Best striker I've played against? Um, in the last couple of seasons, it's probably been uh, Jermaine Defoe. I think he's, although he's getting older, he's still his movement and his uh, his knowledge of the game is just unbelievable, and he's very difficult to play against. But probably my whole career, I remember when I was my second year at St Mirren and playing Rangers, and I was a guy called Nikita Yelovich, uh, and he, I think he went on to, to play in the Premiership and. He got a couple of ten million pound moves, so he was he was really really good. So I'd probably say yellow bitch, but in the last couple of seasons before. Why haven't you been called up to the Scotland squad yet? I'm too old now. I'm past that. I think I might have had a wee chance when I was a bit younger, but the the uh, it would have been an absolute dream. I think when you're grown up, that's that's your ambition for you guys. It'll be probably playing my hubs and playing your country. So. If anybody does get the opportunity to do that, it's just, it must be an unbelievable feeling. But I think just the way my career's panned out, because I started quite late and then I never quite hit the heights that I wanted to with injury and stuff, I was probably never in a, in a position to get to get called up. But it's been a, it would have been a dream. But listen, I've won a Scottish Cup with him, so what more could you want to ask? What's your favourite thing to do in training? Because mine's just shooting. Shooting? Oh, well, that's probably the opposite of mine when... When the guys are shooting, I, I, I steal well clear of that. Uh, I like playing uh, I like playing small sided games. When you're in professional football, that's sort of seen as a treat. So playing small sided games is good, uh, and also probably just defending. That's 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 one of my main attributes is just defending. So headers uh, and clearances and and all this stuff that defenders do, stuff that strikers hate but defenders love. So what's your favourite? Take away. Take away? Yeah. <laughs> if I tell you, I might get in trouble. Are the, are the managers listening though? So, uh, what do I like to eat? Prob it would probably be a, it would probably be an Indian. In, in my so, boys' club, we do two-touch max. Can you play two-touch? Is that right? Yep. I can barely do. I can barely do one-touch, but uh, that's a different story. Yeah, we do, we do, we do two touch, uh, two touch, three touch, for, depending on the situation. But generally, uh, in small sided games, I think I was going to put restrictions on. It would say, would say two touch, and then maybe, maybe take it down to one touch as well. What team do you guys play for then? Um, we play for KSQ. All right, cool. Mm. Uh, so we just come to the high bees. Mm. Um, You've played against Rangers. Yeah, played against Rangers and Hearts. And he beat both of them, didn't he? And how did it go? It went good, actually. Yeah, we, we beat both of them. I scored six against Hearts. Oh, did you? And I scored, I think it was how many? Four against Rangers. Six man. against oh, Hearts and four against Rangers. That's crazy. We need to, we need to get you into East Mains. We need to get you signed up. What is yours, yeah? Uh, 11. 11, right. A couple of years in. When when Doidy and Nisbet have moved on, come in and take the place. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Sounds good. If you could play any other position apart from defence, what would it be? I'd like to be a striker, probably, like yourself. I think instead of stopping goals, it'd be good to score them. So mm. I've always, uh, I think I played when I was younger a couple of times. But as you get older, you just move further and further back. So I think mm. uh, I think next year I might I might turn into a goalkeeper. Well, no fear goes away. Have you ever Maybe played? Take his have you ever played another position except from um, defence? Yeah, I, play, I used to. I used to play in midfield. Although a lot of Hibs fans probably only believe that I played in midfield when I was at St Mirren for a bit under Danny Lennon, and then I played in midfield for Cowden Beef as well. Have you ever ever been to Cowden Beef Stadium? No, not no. yet. But I hope I can go. No. Well, the, the pitch is really really small, 
so I could get I could uh, yeah, it was it's just a lot easier to cover the ground at Cowden Beach, so that's why I got away with the midfield, but I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm.